Oh hey, it's Rob, and I'm up in the kitchen today. Uh, I'm going to be trying to uh, replace a light fixture. Uh, you have to pardon me a little bit. I've been sick the past couple of days. Um, not COVID, thankfully, thankfully. Um, but I think it was a uh, pretty bad flu. Um, it had me laid up for like three days. So I'm still not feeling great, but I'm going to try and get stuff done because I want to try and get stuff done. Um, anyway, there is a light above the sink that I want to try and replace because it's an old fluorescent tube one and it's very small and it doesn't provide a lot of light. So I have an LED one to replace it with and I figure that that should be a relatively easy task. So what I have is there's a small cabinet above the sink and I was looking at this and it's just a wire, some piece of Romex that a hole was drilled in to go down to the fixture and wire it in the fixture. The one that I have is a little bit different in that it wants to go into a box. And I don't have a box here and I'm going to get one because I do have something else that I want to do um, with some under counter lights that should provide a little bit more lighting in the kitchen. So I'm going to at least start with trying to get this old one down. And yeah, that's the old one. It's kind of difficult to get to um, because it's, you know, directly under the sink or over the sink. And I'm on a step stool, so I don't have the reach to get in there. So I'm either going to have to get up on the counter and crouch or find another way. Uh, right now I'm sitting on the sink, which is giving me about the best height that I can. And the hard thing is trying to figure out how to uh, get this off. This cover. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. You can see how these are these are just so badly burned. But they're kind of useless for providing any light. Uh, Alright, I'm going to need two hands for this. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, you, oh, you come up that way. Uh, that's a stinker. Okay, this is tough to work on. And two. And now, there we go. So let's see how this is held on. And I'm going to go get a flashlight. Uh, we're picking up the next day. We had a uh, slight issue yesterday. We had a visit from our neighbor Corgi Fritzi. And there was a lot of dog play outside in the snow. And once Fritzi had to go back inside, uh, Piper decided that she wanted to keep playing. And she wanted to play hide and seek in the darkness um, and keep play, keep away from daddy because that was a fun game. And she ran out onto the river. 
and the river is not entirely frozen over, the middle channel is still flowing water and I don't know how thin the ice is as we get out there. So I had to go find her and that took a significant amount of time and uh, I was very, very scared because I did find her over on the edge of the open water and uh, that was a very scary and unpleasant thing for me. Uh, she thought it was great fun. But I'm trying not to, uh, I'm trying to discourage such behavior. Let's see. So held in by uh, three screws. Okay. No, the fourth screw was actually pushed in. Yeah. That one didn't seem to go all the way through. Kind of went wonky. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find these. All right. Now the power is off. So. Well, for my next trick, uh, I'm going to figure out how to remove this plastic piece from, oh, just like that. Huh. I guess that was pretty easy. Now, what I want to do is see where these mounting screws go. Looks like there's four nice ones on the outside. Here's the hole for the wires to go through. So I guess let's... I should I make that hole a little bigger? I guess let me see if it'll fit through first. If I can get it to fit through then I won't need a drill. Seems pretty nice. Not exactly centered. Well, maybe I should drill a new hole. drill the new hole about two inches over this way make it more centered That was just deburring the sides a little bit so that the hole is a little smoother. Then I just put the light back in. That's much better. All right. Now the fun part. All right, can I get a screw in without 
dropping this back down again. Yes. Okay. Whoop. more. Just gathering some from the other fixture. Okay, let's get that part done. And I'm just going to do a quick wire up test on this to make sure that it's actually functioning the way that it should be before I put any more work into it. So I've got to wait to wait. strong connection, but that's okay. Uh, and we go black to black. connections but we'll see if the light actually works so let me go turn the power back on and here we go turn the switch and we have light and it's actually a pretty nice light it's much brighter than it was with the uh, with that old fluorescent fixture so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart that wiring and add in the junction box and additional things that I want to do with the junction box up on top. So, all right, I'm going to call it here for the night because the hardware store is closed. Um, I should have got a bigger box in the first place, at least a deeper one. But I think I'll just get a, a, a double wide with a single outlet on it. That'll give it enough room for all the wires to be in there and be comfortable and safe and not have any wiring issues. But you get the general idea. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put a box up there so that I have expansion for 
other things, which is going to include under cabinet lighting, which I've started taking the measurements for, um, got the parts to put it together. I just need to actually do it. So expect that in another video. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys. Well, after a trip to the hardware store, I got a new box and cover so I can swap out the ones that uh, didn't have enough room to begin with. And again, making sure that the power is off. Can pull this apart a little bit. Again. Straighten these out as much as possible before we start pulling it off again. <coughs> and I have to get the unscrewing machine. They're mostly just difficult to get started. Because once you get them starting, they come off fairly easily. Now the other thing to do is to uh, remove these tabs <coughs> that are covering the holes on the <coughs> on the plate. I'm not entirely sure what they're there for. I'm sure someone out there knows, but they're pretty easy to remove. You know, I think I might have figured out what those are, those little tabs are for. <coughs> I wonder. <coughs> Indeed they are. They are threaded tabs for the, uh, for the backs of these. That's nice. I never knew that before. The things you learn. Uh, the other thing <coughs> will be to uh, break off the little mouse ears or bend them in such a way that they are no longer an issue. Now, if you are setting up uh, an outlet like these that's mounted to the front plate, you definitely want to put pigtails on it. You don't want to try and attach to this while it's attached to the plate. It's just a lot more cumbersome. 
So it's time to go install this up back upstairs. Okay, first of all, you want to figure the way this wants to go in. And I want to do it like that, so I've got a wire coming in this way and another one that I can bring out the back because I'm more likely going to be doing any kind of attachments to the back of this or keeping the wiring toward the back. But, you know, everything is there for a reason. So let's go ahead with tiny pilot hole. Drill me closer, tiny pilot hole. Okay, mission one accomplished, phase one. So that is clamped in. I'm going to go pet the dog. I'm trying to <clears throat> get all of the wires together in some semblance of being able to connect them. Remembering that I also want to be working with the switch. Now, the ideal thing is to twist all of them beforehand and when you're joining a stranded wire in a solid wire that is somewhat difficult but let me try and get these twisted around first okay first test well first test with a new box turning the light on ha huh. okay light works now let's see if something works if I plug it in up top. Yes indeed. Yes indeed he do. She's working. Well after a few too many days I got that part done. Uh, now I'm going to do some work with installing the under cabinet lighting, cleanup of the caulking, and then moving the appliances back in and the uh, final cleanup and the kitchen will be done so it's getting there it's getting close i'll see you guys later